What's up, people? It's Cowboy coming at you. I got something to say. Are y'all listening to me? Hey, what's going on, my YouTube family? How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing on this Wednesday evening, on this hump day? It's Cowboy coming at you. Thought I'd come share one with y'all, man. So, what are we doing today? Well, we cigar and whiskey balling on the budget today. Uh, I was asked to do another one, so I thought maybe I'd come on on tonight, pull one off for of y'all, show y'all what I put together for the day for my budget-friendly guys. So we ain't gonna mess around, man. What Cowboy got today is a cigar that I keep in my box that I've been smoking for quite some time. The name of this cigar is called The Brick by Carlos Toronto. Cigar's been around for a while. The Toronto family has been doing tobacco for generations, man. I think he's probably the fourth generation to do tobacco. Uh, originally from Cuba. I think they now dwell in Nicaragua. But this is the brick. Good looking cigar, man. This cigar goes for about five, six bucks, depending upon where you get it. Normally I smoke this cigar on a torpedo, but I've been getting it in the six by 60. The torpedo comes in, uh, I think, uh, five and three quarter by 54, something like that. But this box press, six by 60, is just as good. So, this thing is dressed in an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. Um, it has a Honduran binder and Nicaraguan and Honduran fillers. This particular one here, I think, came out in 2016. There was one prior to this that have different makeup to it, but this is the newest version of that. It's been out since 2016, this particular one has. So don't sleep on the brick by Toronto, man. If you guys get a chance to go out and get this cigar, we're gonna smoke it tonight. I'm gonna tell y'all what I think, but this is a great, great budget-friendly cigar. So much so I was buying them by the box. I always keep some keepsakes. This is one of the original boxes that I bought a couple years ago, which was the Torpedo. And uh, I had a clock made out of the box. Pretty cool, huh? So the brick by Toronto must be pretty good if I went and got a keepsake for it. So to pair with that brick tonight, being a budget friendly five to six dollar cigar, what Cowboy decided to pull out tonight was some Rebel Yale. Now this Rebel Yale is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It's a weeded bourbon whiskey. 40% uh, alcohol by volume. It's made by uh, Lux Road Distilleries in Kentucky. Uh, this particular bourbon goes for about uh, $16.99 for a fifth. Every now and then I'll catch it on sale at a local grocery store here for about $14.99. So, this is what we're going to work on tonight. But before I pop that bottle open, we'll go ahead and pour the rest of this one out. I had to re-up a while ago. So, before I cut the cigar, let me go ahead and pour that drink up for y'all. The Rebel Yale, Kentucky Weeded Bourbon. Very nice, mild, light bourbon. Think you guys will enjoy it. So, as far as the cigar goes, we're gonna go ahead and put us a V cut on this thing. I see Ryan Reel that came on. Uh, doing a live tonight, man, when I decided to come out here and uh, throw y'all a quick video. So we're going to go ahead and keep on with this video, man, while Ron is on. I'll catch him in between time. But let's give y'all a couple of things on this uh, this cigar. I already told you how it was dressed. It's got a nice little uh, tobacco note there. Uh, grassy note. Some musk. A little bit of vinegar there as well. Oh, very nice note on the foot. Coffee, cream, chocolate on the foot. So you can see that these guys always put their band on the foot. So for those of us that like to keep the band on the cigar as you smoke it, what I normally do is I take that band off the foot. If I can get it off of there. Stuck on there pretty good. I take that band off the foot. And I just simply 
replace it. On the top of the cigar, if that's how you want to smoke it. Well, let's just say we'll scratch that. Normally I try to take that band and put that band back on the top, smoke it with it, but I don't want to ruin the experience of the cigar by messing around with it too much. So the band is off. So we get ready to fire this thing up and smoke it. On the cold draw, definitely got some sweet tobacco there, some cocoa, some leather, a nice, nice chopping note to it as well. Even see it has some leather there to it. You know, I'm really digging the construction on this cigar as well. It has a nice rustic brown boot leather look to it. Uh, slightly veiny and slightly toothy as well. I love a rustic looking cigar, man. Kind of rugged. Makes you really want to smoke it. So we ain't gonna waste no more time, man. Cowboy got him cut up. We gonna fire him up and we gonna smoke him up. Tell y'all what I think about this praying with this rebel yell tonight. everybody's having a good evening man I waited a little late to come on tonight but I'm here man try to get my budget friendly smokers and drinkers something else to think about doesn't have to be as expensive as you think so we're talking $16.99 for the drink we're talking some would say $5 to $6 for the stick so just north of 20 bucks say 22 bucks you got a fifth of whiskey and a great cigar by Tarano out of Nicaragua. Already on the initial light up. Got a slight bit of pepper there on the retro hill. Some nuttiness there on the retro hill as well. Oh, very nice sweet cedar note to the cigar this has always been a great great cigar to me for the price man you cannot beat it oh beautiful beautiful coffee note with some cream there to it as well on the initial light up Nice earthiness there as well. This is gonna be a great stick. The right kind of sweet for me. Cocoa, chocolate, all the good stuff. So, the Rebel Yell. How well this Rebel Yell pairs with this cigar. Salute. It's a very nice smooth drink. Caramel, vanilla, sweetness there. Tad, just a tad bit of spice. Like I say, only 40% alcohol by volume, so that makes 80 proof. Very good weeded bourbon. You can tell that it's a weeded bourbon. Uh, very nice mash bill to that. So, the Rebel Yeah, Kentucky. Weeded bourbon, along with the Brick Tarano cigar. We cigar, smoking, and whiskey drinking on the budget tonight. Cowboy gonna get through the first third of this cigar, and I'm gonna come back and let y'all know what I think. All right, family. I'm back with the first third of the 6x60 Toronto, the Brick by Carlos Toronto. As you can see, it's got a pretty decent burn line on it. What we worry about with these uh, box press cigars is trying to get an even burn out of it. It don't have a, quite of an even burn right there. It's somewhat of a flaky ash. But the, uh, the cigar is smoking well, man. Very, very tasty cigar. 
five dollar cigar, man. Very, very tasty. Right now on the first third, I got a light pepper with a nice nutty spice going on there on the retro. Got a uh, great coffee note to it, a uh, sweet tobacco core. The cigar is creamy. Earthy, very nice smoke. I mean, billows of, of smoke. Beautiful aroma, a very nice sweet cedar note to the cigar as well. Uh, the cigar really feels good in the hand. It's, this is one of those cigars that's not packed really, really tight. If you feel it, it feels a little soft, but I never have a problem smoking them. Only thing is with a box press, trying to get that even burn. You know, you have to babysit the burn a little bit, but other than that, the cigar smokes great, man. And I'm gonna say right now that the cigar is medium in strength, medium plus on the body, as well as medium plus on the flavors. Very, very tasty cigar so far. Don't sleep on the budget-friendly cigars, the Brick by Toronto. And the Rebel Yell Whiskey, the Weeded Bourbon from Lux Road Distilleries in Kentucky. I think I've done well the last few times that I've done a pairing. Absolutely delicious. So, I'm gonna smoke down a little bit further. I'm gonna continue to watch Ryan Reel on his live while I'm trying to throw a quick video on it to y'all. I hope I'm not rushing this thing, but I am trying to get one in for y'all, man, as best I can. So y'all just bear with me. I'm gonna get through the second part of this cigar. I'll get back with y'all and let y'all know where we at. Relax. Salute, family. Rebel Yell is going down well tonight. All right, family. We back with the second part of the 6x60 Brick Cigar by Carlos Toronto. I'm enjoying the cigar. I always do. Five fifty, six bucks. Cannot beat it. Second portion of the cigar. Everything from the first part of it is staying pretty consistent. I still got that light pepper and nutty spice on the uh, on the retro. Even begin to pick up a tad bit of leather in it. Got some spiciness going on there. Even picking up a really nice dry fruit note. Beautiful sweet woody note, cedar woody note to the cigar as well. Got that earthiness going. Along with that earthiness, I'm beginning to pick up a little bit of a mineral note. But that mineral note is not off-putting to me at all. It's blending in real well with the rest of the uh, flavors from the cigar. And I'm gonna say the cigar is medium in uh, strength, medium in body, medium plus in flavors for me right now. In my opinion, a very, very good cigar, man. I have nothing bad to say about the Toronto. I've been smoking for quite some time. There's a local spot that I go to here, a liquor store that I go pick some liquor up from sometimes, and they just happen to have these in the little bit of humidor that they have. And I always grab two or three to keep some in the box. I probably got a handful of these in my box right now. I, I grab these a lot and smoke them. Great buddy box cigar as well. You know, cigar smoking, whiskey drinking on a budget, baby. You cannot beat it. You can enjoy this lifestyle if you know what to do. Great, great cigar for me, man. You guys go out, gotta go out and get that and try it for yourselves. So, I'm gonna get down to the last portion of the cigar, man, and come back and let y'all know how this thing finishes for me, man. Me and old Rebel, yeah, we handling our business over here. While I watch Ron on his live as well tonight, I didn't know he was coming on, I might've put this off, but we gonna get it all in. Try to get a quick video out there for my budget-friendly peeps. I'll be back.
right, YouTube family. I am back with the 6x60, The Brick by Toronto, by Carlos Toronto. Great, great budget stick, man. I can't say enough about it. You start to see the oils coming off of that thing, man. The rapper's showing up pretty damn good here towards this last third. The burn line is not bad. Being a box press, I did have to touch the cigar up two or three times. But as far as the way the cigar is smoking for me, I'm pretty much never disappointed with this Toronto, man. Uh, on this last third, the cigar has pretty much stayed consistent and began to pick up that pepper up a little bit more on that last third along with a spicy nut. It's got some spice going on in it, man. The coffee profile is there. I got the chocolate and the cocoa going. Tad bit of leather. Like I said, a beautiful cedar note. Great smoke on this thing, man. Anytime you get a cigar that you can blow nice smoke rings with, you know that cigar is smoking good, man. Very nice tobacco core to the cigar. Got some great earthiness to it. That mineral that was that I was picking up in the second third is still there just a little bit, not as much as it was in the second third, but it's not off-putting, that mineral note. It's not off-putting to me at all. Got that nice little dried fruit note to it. Creamy nut feel to the mouth. And the Rebel Yale, man, the straight Kentucky wheat bourbon whiskey, if you guys haven't tried it, go out and try it. Like I said, about $16.99 for the fifth. You're talking about five, somewhere between five and six bucks for the stick. Cigar and whiskey balling on the budget for just north of 20 bucks, man, you cannot beat it. So, for those of you guys that uh, enjoy watching me, man, I hope that I'm not killing you guys with this video tonight uh, because I've been watching Ryan Weed Reel and chatting with these guys on the live while I'm trying to work all at the same time and put a video out for my budget-friendly folk, man. But uh, if you guys also are interested in any of the Cowboy Is a Merchandise, I am going to put that link down in the description. Please go check that out. But before I get out of here, man, I'm going to go ahead and give a quick score on this cigar for the night, man. And what we got for the 6x60 box press, Toronto, the brick. I gave the uh, construction a 10. I gave the burn a 10. The flavor and the body. I'm sorry, I gave the burn an 8. So that would be the construction a 10. I gave the burn an 8. I gave the uh, flavor an 8, the body an 8, and for complexity and transition, I gave it a 7, which gives this cigar a score for tonight, in my opinion, an overall score of an 8.2, which on my scale of 1 to 10 makes that an above average cigar. I think it's a great smoke for a great price. You cannot beat it. You can smoke good on a budget, and you can drink just as well on a budget. So Cowboy has enjoyed this tonight, man. Sitting up smoking, drinking, watching it live, taking a look at the debacle, trying to see what's going to happen with the election. But other than that, man, everything is good, man. So I just wanted to come on and share a little bit with y'all, man, and give y'all a little something else to go on, man. So this is Cowboy. I'm going to get out of here and enjoy the rest of my evening. Y'all be good. That's my take on it. Peace.